Zillions of years ago, when the Earth was just forming, vast seas of lava burst forth, destroying everything in their path. Man must have been pretty concerned, or would have been had he existed. Mind you, in these early days, there wouldn't have been too much to destroy, so perhaps non-existent man really wouldn't have been too worried. <laughs> Hello, I'm David McGann. Of course, in these very early days, man was a gorilla, living in trees and eating bananas. But it was in this very early gorilla state that man had an advantage over the fish of the air and the plants of the sea around him. He had an opposable thumb. And it was this very same opposable thumb that enabled early man or late gorilla the ability to fashion weapons from the very flinty soil and grow crops in them as well. Uh, the uh, soil, not the weapons. So you need some sort of immense fertilizer to, to grow crops in weaponry. <laughs> Rock-like in appearance, these rocks are exactly what they seem to be. But looks can be deceiving, although not in this case. Rocks are created by the enigma of nature's mysterious volcano. Pointy and dangerous, they create a hotness which could burn an average man to death. This man, for example, Mr. Ron Minder of Patualunga Key. Seen here before our experiment and after. But geology has its lighter moments too. These forces of nature that created this coal can also create, as if by magic, but not really, this thing of exquisite beauty. Just the diamond, obviously. But that ring part there would obviously be made by a, a jeweler. And the hand wouldn't be attached either. That was just there for scale. Yes. The forces that created these gemstones, for example, must have been under enormous pressure within the Earth's rind. Here's an artist's impression. Judy, Judy, Judy. Yes. <laughs> this natural rock formation has perplexed geologists ever since it was built at the dawn of time. If only the rocks that make up the mighty deserts of Egypt could talk, the stories they could tell. Obviously they'd be speaking Egyptian, so there'd be, have to be some sort of bilingual rock there to act as an interpreter. The... <laughs> well, there you have it then. The glitter and majesty and wonder of stock footage edited together. Until next week, then, it's goodbye. Until next week, I'm David... Mc <laughs>